What is going on, fitness junkies? Welcome to the video. Um, I'm shocked, and honestly, it's hard for me to admit, but I do actually have pretty low T. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about you know my testosterone blood work. I'm going to be sharing my results with you guys. Uh, I'm going to share my thoughts on it. And then, you know, I'm going to talk about my plans to optimize these hormones, try to bring these levels up. So if you've ever been someone that's been interested in your own hormone levels and how to optimize these things, then this def this video is definitely going to have some great takeaways for you. Okay. So, and then stick around until the very end, because that's when I'm really going to talk about more, some of the nuanced specific tactics um, that aren't really talked about a whole lot. So stick around until then, you know, you're definitely going to get some, some takeaways in this video um, about how to optimize your hormones. Okay. And again, this is hard for me to share these results. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, Cause I was pretty shocked. I thought I was, you know, at least average, if not on the higher end, you know, I, I feel like I'm a healthy guy. I'm a, I'm a fitness coach. Um, so this was shocking for me, but I'm hoping that through sharing my experience with you guys and hopefully being able to, to raise these levels in the future that you guys can take something away from it. All right. So let's go ahead without further ado, go ahead and dive right into it. I'm going to share you guys my results. Cool. So here we go. So I used quest diagnostics uh, they partnered up with DEXA fit. Um, and so I, I got a DEXA scan and I also saw that they do testosterone results and blood work. So I went ahead and jumped on this. So if you guys, um, haven't watched my DEXA scan video, highly recommend going back and watching that. But yeah, so I did this through DEXA fit and quest diagnostics it was super easy. Um, went in and out, got my blood work, uh, had the results the very next week, you know, within like three or four days. Um, but these are my results, guys. So as you can see, um, my testosterone, my total testosterone is at 476. Okay, so you can see the reference range right here, 250 to 1100. Okay, so that's the reference range for total T. And from what I've heard, and I've done a lot of research, and I've listened to some podcasts with doctors that own TRT clinics and stuff like that. Um, you know, this number for one, you know, the range, it really, they, they treat the patient. They don't, they don't just look at a number. Okay. So everyone's it's, it's more individual, but as you can see, I'm definitely on the lower end of this range with that being said. Okay. So like 250, you know, obviously I'm, you know, at 476, I'm not like hypogonadism. Like I'm not like super low, like dangerously low on this. Um, but I'm definitely on the lower end. Okay. With that being said, like, you know, anything under 300 is, is pretty drastically low. There are even people like, you know, in their twenties that sometimes in, in like the one hundreds. Okay. But that, that's like the, the lowest of the low, but I definitely want to be optimizing things. And I, I feel like for me, my standards, this is pretty dang low. And this is definitely on the lower end of the range. All right. So I was pretty shocked to see this. Um, you can see too that my free testosterone is, is even pretty low, um, pretty dang low as well. So, you know, not quite as low as as a as the total T comparatively, um, but still pretty dang low. All right. So again, this reference range, you know, it's not the a hundred percent like, you know, if you're on the lower end of this, that means you have low T and you've got, you know, these issues you know, you have to also look at the symptoms. I honestly didn't feel like I had any symptoms. I was just going in. I just wanted to see, I was curious, which is not why most people go and get their testosterone checked. Most people go in because they're having symptoms, you know, even like ED, um, you know, lower energy, you know, low libido, which is basically ED or stuff like that. You know, I'm not having any of these symptoms really. I feel like my workouts are going great. I've got good energy. Um, so I, I was just going in super curious, wanting to see where I was at. Um, and I, I was shocked to find out that I'm definitely on the lower end of testosterone. So what, what I'm thinking is I'm just naturally a lower testosterone guy. That's all I can really think because I, you know, I'm doing a lot of the right things with working out, eating right, stuff like that. And I'll go more into that here in a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely on the lower end, not dangerously low, but definitely on the lower end. And my coach that's coaching me right now, so Christian Guzman's IFBB pro coach 
Alex um, Toplin, you know, super well-known, renowned. He even competed in Olympia recently, um, but he's my coach and he recommended that I even get on TRT. So even my coach is like, yeah, man, that, that's pretty dang low. Um, I would honestly recommend TRT for you. So it, it, it hit me hard to like, you know, kind of see this and realize this and have someone even recommend that TRT would be a good option for me. Um, yeah, my thoughts on TRT is I'm definitely going to try to steer clear for as long as I can. Like I want to try to naturally raise these levels on my own um, and really be able to, to try to bring this up without doing that because I know that TRT, it's a big decision. You know, it's something that you basically have to be on the rest of your life. You know, if you decide to do TRT, then, you know, you're, you're probably going to be on it um, for pretty much the rest of your life unless you want to come off. And that's going to be a long, arduous process of getting your testosterone levels naturally back up. It's going to make it even tougher at that point. Um, so I know it's a huge decision. So I'm going to see what I can do on my own. Um, but yeah, these are my results with you guys. I'm going to stop sharing here. Um, but as you can see, yeah, 476 with the reference range being 250 to 1100, um, definitely on the lower end of total, definitely on the lower end of free as well at 67.3. Okay. Cool. So let's dive into to basically ways that I plan to improve and ways that anyone can really improve their testosterone. So for me personally, I think I'm doing the big three, which is resistance training eating well and getting great sleep. Yeah. I, those are pretty much like the bread and butter of like, you need to be doing these things to optimize your hormones, which is why I'm so shocked that I have low levels because, you know, I, I consistently resistance train probably more than 99% of the population. Um, I eat pretty dang well. Um, I'm even in a bulking phase. So typically you see lower levels when you're cutting or getting super shredded, or if you're super overweight, but I'm in a healthy body fat percentage range and I'm bulking. So I, I would assume I would have thought that I had very good levels because of those two things. Um, great sleep. I feel like I sleep plenty of hours, you know, on, on average, I feel like I sleep again, you know, better than 99% of the population. But one thing I am going to do is try to just make sure I'm getting really good quality of sleep. So the couple of things that I'm going to be doing to ensure that is one, when I wake up and um, and kind of get up and get ready for the day and the sun comes out, I want to make sure that I get more light, sunlight in my eyes. So I'm going to be, you know, just going to my window, maybe going for a walk in the morning at some point, literally staring at the sun. Um, this is something that Andrew Huberman talks about in his podcast about getting great, great sleep um, and optimizing your hormones. And it, it's a huge way to, to make sure your circadian rhythm is on point. And again, like, these, these are ways to indirectly improve your testosterone through getting great sleep because sleep is a huge factor in this. Okay. So getting some sunlight in my eyes, two to 10 minutes of literally staring at the sun um, has shown to, to improve your circadian rhythm and help you get better, deeper sleep. All right. Another thing that I'm focusing on both on the sleep side and just throughout the day is trying to do more nose breathing. Okay, I, I've realized recently um, there, there was kind of a, a trend about taping your mouth when you sleep to try to breathe through your nose. Um, this is a way to, it literally affects your hormones differently. Okay, so there's sympathetic and parasympathetic um, nervous system and you, you literally go into one or the other if you're breathing through your mouth or breathing through your nose. Okay. So it, it's a huge difference. It's, it's crazy. You wouldn't think that just breathing a certain way can affect um, the way your body reacts and, you know, your hormones, but Andrew Huberman, he even talked about it in, in his podcast on optimizing hormones as one of the main things that can improve um, your hormones indirectly through improving your sleep. Okay. So I'm going to be trying to, to nose breathe. I, I literally, when I'm falling asleep now, I've been going like this, like when I'm laying on my pillow trying to keep, cause I don't want to do the taping the mouth thing. I think that's pretty drastic. And I am I'm, I'm someone, especially this time of year, I've got allergies. I stay kind of congested. I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to breathe at all, but I'm trying to do that when I sleep. I've made a huge conscious effort recently to try to do it just throughout the day. When I'm working, just focus on breathing through my nose, <clears throat> but trying to just make sure that I breathe through my nose more so that I can improve my sleep, improve my overall health, because it's been shown that it makes a huge difference. Okay. You wouldn't think just breathing, but it really does. So that's one thing I'm going to try to do to improve my sleep and just improve hormone levels overall. 
one huge thing. This is probably one of the biggest things on why I think maybe my levels are pretty low is just trying to lower, lower my stress, lower, lower my cortisol levels. Um, cortisol is your main stress hormone. Uh, and this could negatively impact your testosterone levels. And, you know, I've, I've built a business. I've basically just worked myself into the ground this past year, just trying to grow this business. And, you know, I'm super pleased with where it's at and, and happy with where I'm at in life with it and everything. But, you know, I've definitely put in very long hours, um, not taking many breaks whatsoever. Haven't been on a vacation <laughs> in years, honestly. Um, so I, I think I do need to take some breaks here and there, maybe go on a vacation, you know, maybe just be able to step away. Sometimes I usually work through weekends. I'm making this video on the weekend on a Saturday. You know, I usually am either communicating with clients, creating content or updating programs basically 24 seven. So I probably should take some breaks more often. That's something I'm going to try to put a more conscious effort into to lower my stress and indirectly, you know, increase my testosterone, hopefully through lowering the stress. I'm even going to supplement with ashwagandha, which has been shown to, to lower your stress and can improve your testosterone levels. Okay. So th th that's my conscious effort towards lowering stress. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's something that you guys can be doing to try to lower your stress as well. And, and definitely be conscious of it. Something that I'm definitely trying to recommend to my clients is lowering stress throughout the week. It's something we pay attention to. So I need to practice what I preach. Um, getting more sun. So not only just staring at the sun, getting more sun on my, on my eyeballs, um, for better sleep, but also just getting more vitamin D and get more sun to your skin. So it's, you know, it's coming off of the winter months. So this may have factored in to why I have lower testosterone because it's been the winter. There hasn't been as much sun and getting more vitamin D can increase your, your levels of testosterone. So you know, not only hopefully coming into the summer, me getting some more sun, but me just also getting outside more because I have been, you know, kind of cooped up, um, just staying inside a lot. So I'm, I'm thinking if I can get out, get more sun, get more vitamin D, that that's going to increase my levels as well. But also going to be supplemented with vitamin D. It's something that I already do, but I'm just going to make sure that I continue that. And hopefully the natural sunlight, natural vitamin D helps with that when the sun comes out and I get outside more. So one kind of nuanced thing that Andrew Huberman talked about, which I thought was pretty interesting and something I'm going to put a conscious effort into is literally competing more. Okay. So competition literally raises your testosterone. Okay. It's something he talked about in his podcast about optimizing hormones, literally competing, being more competitive can increase your testosterone. There's studies that show it. So I'm going to be trying to compete more. You know, one thing that may have factored in into this is I fractured my my ankle a little while back, um, like really destroyed my ankle. It was, it was looking bad and super purple. I, I did it playing basketball. So I haven't been doing anything really competitive, like playing sports. I used to play basketball a lot, a lot of pickup basketball. So I feel like I did a lot more competitive things in the past. And this has kind of taken me out of doing that. So I'm gonna see if I can get back into basketball, maybe compete here and there in some pickup games. Um, I do plan to, to hopefully do a bodybuilding competition in the, in the somewhat near future, you know, maybe in the next year to two years. So maybe striving to compete in that will help me. I do want to compete in a powerlifting competition as well. So I'm, I'm going to try to compete more, get more competitive and just, yeah, maybe that'll raise my testosterone a little bit. Um, some supplements I'm going to be taking, definitely going to be taking zinc and magnesium. There's lots of research that supplementing with zinc and magnesium right before bed can increase your testosterone. Um, so yeah, these are definitely a couple ones that I'm going to be taking religiously. I, I should have been taking them a long time ago. Honestly, don't know why I haven't, cause I've heard of this information. I just, I didn't think I had low T, um, but this has been eye opening. So yeah, guys, so those were the main things that I'm going to focus on. Hopefully you can take something away from that. You know, hopefully I can come back in a few months, uh, get some more blood work and show you guys how all this stuff pans out. And hopefully I've raised it a lot. The thing I'm worried about is I'm actually going to be starting to cut soon. So I'm going to be trying to get as shredded as possible. I'm going to try to get to like 7% body fat, which is, you know, I've been at 8% body fat. That's the lowest I've ever been. So I'm literally trying to get in the best shape of my life, get as lean as I've ever been, which kind of worries me even more because, you know, usually in a bulking phase, when you're giving yourself plenty of calories, you're more in a surplus. Um, as long as your body fat is in a healthy range, you know, that should actually improve your levels. 
But we'll see how it goes, guys. I'm going to try to use all these tactics to to try to improve things. Really just be more conscious about it and breathe through my nose more. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully you took something away from this. Um, I'm not 100% uh, closed off or completely ruling out TRT in the future. Like if I can't naturally raise these levels, you know, in the next year or two, and things even start to take even more of a dive, then it might be something I consider. I'll be completely transparent and honest with you guys. So, uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you've got any experience with this. Go ahead and comment below. You know, if you got any questions or anything like that or any feedback for me, comment it below. But hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, like and comment if this was helpful for you. Subscribe to get more transparent um, information from me about my fitness journey. And uh, hopefully I can show you guys how to improve these and show you some great results in the future. So like, subscribe, follow my journey, guys. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.